You're not calling him Junior, are you? <laughs> I promised you I would never do that. He's an amazing kid. He's just like you. Your husband. Jacob. Jacob. Jacob is beside me. I knew it. I wasn't crazy. I caught him lying, but he... he... Well, he was honest and hurt, and I bought it. Who is he, really? He's a CIA operative, deep cover. He runs a splinter cell called 21 Void. What does this have to do with you? He targeted me for my skills, blackmailed me. He told me if I didn't agree to come work for him, he'd go after you and Link, put you both in jail. And then he proved it to me. He said I could never see either one of you again. Or Mike. Who made me fake my death. And then he just used me. He married me. If I'd known he was your husband, I no, swear. No, 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 no. This is not on you. I... Why now? Why did you come back now? The origami. Four years ago, he betrayed me. And now I know why. He wanted me out of the way. So he could have you. How did he betray you? He said a meeting. We were supposed to discuss my next assignment. What he didn't tell me was that we were meeting a man named Harlan Gaines, a deputy director of the CIA. Gaines was investigating 21 Void, looking for the traitor behind it. That's when I knew my work wasn't sanctioned. Poseidon shot and killed Gaines that night to stop the investigation. He told me to move the body. Make it look like it never happened. I've seen the photos of that murder. They're damning. He chose images that showed me moving Gaines's body. He eliminated the ones that incriminated himself. I knew I was being set up. He was tightening his control over me, but there was nothing I could do. At least that's what he thought. When I knew Poseidon had gone rogue and was operating outside the CIA, that's when I started my plan to get back to you. You're not some other man has your, your face, your past, your whole life. Sir, there is a plan to make this right. To protect our family. Michael, he's with our son right now. He's with Mike. I, uh, we have to go.